completely redesigned. Oh no. IMAC. Oh please. All new, completely redesigned iMac is more personal, more powerful, and more capable than ever. iMac's new form is stunning with a spectrum of vibrant colors, so you can choose the one that fits your own personal style. We wanted it to feel light and optimistic while instantly brightening Bro, up. Bro, I'll say it. That's a tablet. I said it. Say what you want, okay? It could be, it could be a little bitch. At, at, is this not a tablet? Any space. In contrast to the more neutral front. No, the, this is literally a tablet with a rack on it. Back is designed to really celebrate color with bold, richly saturated shades. In many places, the back of iMac, it's the first thing you'll see. So we created colors that would bring a sense of joy to any space. iMac has always been about its best in class display. So on the new iMac, we made the display an expansive 24 inches. By narrowing okay. borders, we fit the significantly bigger display. What's happening with this? The design is only slightly larger than the 21 and a half inch iMac and it has nearly 11.3 million pixels in its 4.5K retina display. Add in the power and performance of M1 and Mac OS Big Sur, this experience is simply unrivaled. You can feel the difference immediately as iMac wakes almost instantly. And your apps launch with blazing speed. iMac is Okay, so it has SSD? Okay, so they have, a, they have a solid state drive, okay. 85% faster than the previous 21 and a half inch iMac models. So you can compile new apps in Xcode in a fraction of the time. And when it comes to GPU performance, for certain apps like Affinity Photo and Photoshop, iMac is up to two times faster than the previous models. And it's even up to 50% faster than the most powerful discrete graphics in the fastest 21 and a half inch iMac. It has up to four USB-C ports, including two Thunderbolt ports for super fast data transfer and support for up to a 6K display, like the Pro Display XDR. And we created a new power connector that attaches magnetically, so it's quick <laughs> and easy to connect. It has a two meter color match woven cable that leads- Okay, to guys, guys. I, I don't want to be overly negative about everything, but the thing is, is that most of these computers, a, a, an iMac is for people that you're going to have a desktop computer. You're just going to, you're, you're going to put it and you're going to use it, right? So who cares if, it, if it's magnetic, easy to connect, if it's, it's not meant to be a fucking portable thing, motherfucker. It's a desktop, dude. I don't give a fuck. Dude, I would have to, I, I don't care if I have to screw the thing, if I have to put glue on it, I don't give a fuck. And easy it's a desktop. To connect. It has a two meter color match woven cable that leads to a small power adapter, which can be placed on the floor behind your desk. And for ethernet, check out this cool innovation. It connects to the adapter and runs through the power cable to keep your desktop less cluttered. You can choose from three types of keyboards with gorgeous aluminum enclosures, color matched to iMac. First, there's a magic keyboard with new emoji, spotlight, dictation, and do not disturb keys. And a lock okay. key. Let's, let's be real about this. The people who use the, all these FN commands like the 0.0001% cock lords, okay? Listen, to nobody needs, knows these FN Next, combinations, yo. There's a magic keyboard with an exciting new feature. Touch ID, I'm not which comes negative. to the Mac desktop for the I first can't. time. Wireless fingerprint data transmission is made possible by a secure processor in the keyboard. It communicates directly with the secure enclave in M1, creating an encrypted channel to protect your fingerprint data from end to end. And there's a magic keyboard with Touch ID and a numeric keypad too. Magic Mouse, loved by iMac users, now That's features color match. Yeah, limited. but... And Magic Trackpad, still by far the industry's best, has a refined shape to match the new keyboard. So that's the new iMac. With its extraordinary design, powerful performance, okay. and incredible Guys, features. Guys, I'm gonna say it. this is a disaster. Guys, in my, in my opinion, if they were gonna run with this, it, it, I'm not kidding. If they were gonna run with this, um, why not make it d just detachable? Seriously, why not make it detachable? So, so you, can, you, can, you can move it around or whatever. Because this is literally, an, it's literally a pad. It's, it's a fucking, it's a surface. It starts at just $12.99 in four colors. And at $14.99, iMac comes in seven colors with these- 256 gigabytes as eight core. Dead. Additional features. With two Thunderbolt ports and two USB. 
You can order the new iMac starting April 30th, and it will be available in the second half of May. The M1 chip is not just in the Mac, it's now in iPad Pro. Hold up. And it's gonna blow you away. Sorry. The next closed. level performance that M1 unlocks on iPad Pro starts with its powerful CPU. Wait. No, I, I can't, I have to go back. Uh, I can't, this is, this is, this is. Guys, I'm so confused. Wait, so this is basically a Surface. It's like a Microsoft Surface, but it's, it's even less powerful? I'm confused. So why not make it portable? The M1 chip is not just in the Mac, it's now in iPad Pro, and it's gonna blow you away. The next level performance that M1 unlocks on iPad Pro starts with its powerful CPU. Built around the world's fastest CPU core in low power silicon, the eight core design of M1 delivers a whopping 50% jump over the industry leading performance of the previous iPad Pro. What's amazing is that compared to the first generation iPad, this iPad Pro now delivers up to 75 times faster CPU performance. The eight core GPU oh, is shit. in a class of its own, delivering up to 40% faster graphics performance. Again, compared to the first generation iPad, get ready for this. The graphics of this new iPad Pro is now over 1500 times faster. Okay, so painting with guys, this comparison is, it's meaningless. Bro, the iPad version couldn't even fucking load balloons, man. So painting with watercolors and oils in Adobe Fresco look and feel like the real thing. This raw performance, along with the ProMotion display, four speakers, and now support for the latest PlayStation or Xbox game controllers with haptics makes playing games on iPad Pro insanely fun. <laughs> with this combination of CPU and graphics performance, the new iPad Pro is, That's yet cool, again, though. the fastest device of its kind. It's not even close. The new iPad Pro also allows users to access their content faster than ever, with up to two times faster storage. And for our most demanding users, a new two terabyte configuration gives you enormous storage capacity. So That's you can dang, keep up to 60,000 Pro Raw photos at your fingertips, or up to 220 hours of 4K HDR video content with you wherever you go. And now That's we're adding though. Thunderbolt with USB 4 support as well making it the fastest, most versatile port ever on an iPad. Thunderbolt also opens up a massive ecosystem of high performance accessories, like super fast storage, external displays like the Pro Display XDR now at its full 6K resolution, and all connected using high performance cables and docks. Guys, We've guys why do they make this guy look like a hacker or some shit? Like high performance, like what, what kind of setup is this? I, I don't get this resolution and all connected using high performance cables and docks. We've added 5G to iPad Pro. We're bringing the stunning front of screen performance of oh, our shit. Pro Display XDR to our 12.9 inch iPad Pro. So our users can take their XDR workflow wherever they go and it delivers a thousand nits of full screen brightness. Let me know that is. taking 1600 nits of peak brightness and a phenomenal one million to one contrast ratio just like Pro Display XDR. Even with M1 and what, the other incredible new what technologies, the, fuck is the, nits, dude? the 11-inch iPad Pro still starts at just 799, and the 12.9-inch model adds the stunning Liquid Retina XDR display for just 1099, an incredible value for such bad. an incredible device. Just you can order iPad Pro starting oh. April 30th. Oh, wait, you can't afford it. And it'll be available. You can't afford it yet. Okay, well, just buy it, dude. In the second oh. half of May. Oh, you this can't afford is air just tags. buy it, the dude. The next time the couch eats your keys, AirTag will help find them. This guy. AirTag is easy to use by itself or with beautiful accessories we've designed. What the fuck so is that? You can attach it to just about anything, like your backpack, luggage, or whatever else you have. You can keep track of your AirTag right in the Find My app. Any iPhone with our U1 chip, like iPhone 12, uses helpful overlays to guide you directly to a lost item when it's nearby. As you move, Precision Finding uses our U1 chip to get the precise distance to your AirTag. iPhone fuses that data with input from the camera, accelerometer, and gyroscope to give you visual, haptic, and audible feedback, guiding you right to your AirTag. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, chat, listen, guys, guys, with the lifestyle that I had, you guys, listen, 
I I would buy like 60 of those, 50, 70, 100 of those. AirTag is designed to track items, not people. So we included safety features to discourage unwanted tracking, like unwanted tag detection, rotating identifiers, and audible alerts from unknown tags. So that's AirTag. That's AirTag cool, is just $29. Though. And because you likely have more than one important item in your life, a four pack is just $99. This is actually kind of cool. Order though. start this Friday. I don't mind this. And AirTag will be available April 30th. We also worked with Hermes on a special handcrafted leather collection a bag charm, luggage tag, and keyring, each including an AirTag etched with an Hermes signature. Apple TV 4K is now built with the A12 Bionic. I'm gonna what be honest mean? though, I don't know why you would want it to be obvious that you have one of those. I feel like you would want to hide it. If somebody was gonna steal your shit, he sees this, they're just gonna cut it off as soon as he sees it. Sure. Apple TV 4K is now built with the A12 Bionic, bringing a new level of performance that will be a massive upgrade to your TV. And with the A12 Bionic, the new Apple TV 4K can now play HDR in high frame rate. This allows video to play more smoothly and appear more lifelike than ever before. With our new color balance feature, Apple TV will work with your iPhone and its advanced sensors to improve your TV's picture quality. Huh? Your iPhone uses its camera and proximity sensor to guide you to an on-screen target. Color measurements start automatically. Apple TV uses the light sensor in your iPhone to compare your TV's okay, color balance this. to the industry standard specifications used by cinematographers worldwide. Of course, the way you interact with Apple TV is with the Siri remote. So this year, we completely redesigned it with new functionality and controls. It starts with a new one-piece aluminum design that fits perfectly in your hand. And with contrasting controls, you can easily find and hit just the button you want. We also have a brand new click pad with five-way navigation for better accuracy. And the entire click pad is touch enabled, preserving the fast directional swipes users love. And we did something pretty cool with the outer ring. We've given it a new circular gesture that turns it into a jaw control. Bro, perfect for fighting. Bro, they've had this since fucking iPod, motherfucker. Fighting just the scene you're looking for. We've also made it the only remote you need for your TV. It now has a power button that controls your TV's power and another for mute. And we've moved the Siri button to the side, just like on your iPhone. It'll be available for $179 with 32 gigabytes or 199 with double the storage capacity. Perfect for enjoying even more apps and games. You can order them on April 30th and they'll be available in the second half of May. We're so excited huh? to introduce a new gorgeous purple. It looks stunning with the precision milled back glass and new design. It has elements of sophistication and brightness with the color matched aluminum edges. It's absolutely beautiful. Purple joins the iPhone 12 lineup for pre-order this Friday. And it's a fucking color, dude. It's fucking lavender, dude. It will be available on Bro, April it's, 30th. Bro, it's lavender. What about it? I'm confused. Okay, this whole thing gave me a headache. Okay, thanks for the it though.